hello lovers of freedom welcome back to my channel i welcome you all my amazing people my wonderful biafra family welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is patience aka adi Bonine. i welcome you all back to this channel in case you have not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell in order to get notified whenever i drop a new video so my amazing people there is this video i want you all to watch I don't know what you think about it, but I know definitely you're going to pick some sense from it. So, my wonderful people, let's watch the video together. Thank you so much for your outstanding support and for joining. Good morning. Uh, this is now BBC News Pigeon. Uh, we did live for Abuja for the Federal High Court for Abuja, where uh, IPOP leader Namdi Kanu's trial they resume today. We did live for Abuja right now for the Federal High Court for the trial. Namdi Kano they resume today, November 10. Uh, as now they see, uh, as usual, every security day ground for the front of the court. So many security personnel now in for the front of the court. Uh, the trial of uh, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekanu, they resume today in Gosho to in the show for a trial to answer the charges where Nigeria governments within Samaram. Just to join us, this is Nabi Bissino speaking. We did here to give an update. On waiting to happen for the federal high court today. Uh, make her just run on our truth. So it never starts, but then we stay here and we go soon. The court session will soon start. All right, uh, as soon as you join us for this live, so remember to set your notifications. See, anytime we be busy pigeon, they go live, means Facebook for last you because we do get to the give an update and uh, back to back on top what's going happen for here today uh make i just run on a true um the background to this um trial it's been done all before for last month um october uh way justice uh, the entire judge where they sit down for the case uh all right uh, i did try to say like say some people don't begin to enter the court right now but then every security presence that in there for the federal high court um, this morning but i make i just run on a true what will happen for here today and uh, the leader of the indigenous people of biafra now can be for this court for a trial uh, to answer some of the charges with nigeria government is around um, Nigeria government in Samarkand with charges the way they related to, you know, alleged act of um, terrorism and uh, what they call a treasonable um, felony. The trial being first um, start for this court on July 26. That's not the first time where this trial start for the Federal High Court. Uh, but that day, no hold, sake of say, the Department of um, State Security. Uh, will be DSS uh, they will bring a can from this court that day is based on log some logistic reasons with their site uh, so the justice justice Binta and Yako now they sit down on top of the case uh, in Conseil you know if sit down on top of the matter I joined the case till October 20 um, will be last month but that October 20 cannot show for court that time and he plead not guilty to all the charges uh, with Nigeria government been uh, Samaram. I guess born natural. Um, what's going to happen? So for that last time, we're in show for court. Uh, will be last month, October 20. Um, Nigeria government 
you know, based on seven counts charges, make I just run on her through and wait till those seven counts charges where Namdekano they face trial for. So they do in don't plead say uh, in no they guilty according to waiting in lawyers where they defend them don't talk. And some of the charges that like they uh, Namdekano they allegedly using radio broad, uh, broadcast from London uh, to abuse Nigeria President uh, Muhammadu Buhari. Saying they call the presidents um, different names like pedophile, terrorist, idiot, and uh, a whole lot of. According to uh, waiting the judge, um, Samaram Sena, uh, the accused with federal government, the Lebaram. Another accused, we say, they say Kanu, they allegedly uh, import radio transmitter uh, with them called TRAM 50L, they in the hide inside container to keep for uh, Hihala, that's not for Anambra State, that's not one of the uh, charges, that's not the second one. Another one we say Kanu allegedly they declare himself as a member of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and they say that group, uh, Nigeria government, not banned the group, that's not the number three out of the seven count charges with Namdi Kanu they uh, face accused for today. Uh, they also say uh, Kanu allegedly commits terrorism when they use the broadcast uh, from London to encourage members of the members of IPOP um, to attack Nigeria security operatives and their family members. Then uh, that's now another uh, uh, part of the charges we in the face for. But they do in don't plead guilty. In lawyers don't talk. Say this um, count charges you no know, old ground. Uh, or make I just give on a uh, just uh, updates or all right. I they try to say uh, what they happen. We see some of the security vehicles still they trooping. Uh, we don't see some of the lawyers then don't begin enter the premises of the courts. But right now uh, they never still open the courts to press men. So now why we still being here uh, to give on a just the background to see how things be, um, the, how the surroundings, what the environment they about this morning from the federal high court for Abuja, where Namdi Kanu uh, faced trial, trial where they've been adjourned from October um, last month. All right, make I just, um, if you just join us, make I run out through the seven count charges again. Uh, the first one, as they uh, Namdi Kanu, they're using radio broadcast from London to abuse Nigeria president. Another one say Kanu allegedly declare himself as a uh, member of indigenous people of Biafra, IPO. They say Kanu allegedly again commit terrorism when he used the radio broadcast from London to encourage members of IPO to attack Nigeria security operatives and their family. Uh, they also talk say Kanu allegedly commit terrorism when he both say things go happen and say some people go uh, die. Uh, another of the seven count charges now say him allegedly used the rape to and also threaten uh, death on people we no obey uh, the orders. That's now another of those um, seven count charges when they face. But in lawyers, they don't argue, say their clients uh, will be named the can know the guilty of all these charges. One of the lawyers to can will be barrister if I age or for say uh, the. Uh, they challenge the charges which now part of which they all come do for this court this morning uh, he said the seven count of offense with government summer nam the can be baseless and worthless according to the rule of law according to waiting talk the last time we then show for this court that's now october uh, last month october 20 he said the seven count charges no be any offense take a best no fee they snitch for london where most of this offense where they say nam the can commits most of this offense they, that's no place this for London make it become offense uh, for Nigeria. As you can see, the case will continue today and we'll be here to give you now all the updates and everything will happen for this court today. And of course, everything will even happen outside of here. The last time we've been there here, uh, we see some of the supporters, IPOP supporters has been shown for this court and also some um, rights activists also show for this court. Um, the last time, that was now October 20, before they adjourned the case to today, in November 10. Uh, so we did here to give an updates on what they happened from inside the court, from outside the court, as people they show, who they show, and why, and what will happen, you know, what the judgments will be uh, today. 
another case, another matter away day before this court now uh, uh matter away uh Namdekanu lawyer don't raise they make them uh, come out and from DSS custody say may they allow me then transfer and go correctional center. Uh, but the judge uh, will be Justice Binta Yako, where they preside on the case, say, uh, case, say uh, no. Say uh, Nam the Kanu will still remain for uh, DSS custody. So, as him being still there for DSS custody, they expect to say uh, now DSS will still bring and come uh, today. If you just uh, join us, this is now BBC News PG. Uh, we did for the trial of Nam the Kanu for the Federal High Court headquarters, we did for Abuja. Uh, where the trial of the uh, leader of the indigenous people of Bihafra uh, will take place and will resume today. So if you just uh, join us, uh, make I just run on through the highlight again. Uh, we see some people. All right, no they care who they be, but we will still follow them talk. The last time uh, supporters of IPOP been shown for this court, uh, the last time will be October 20. We can plead not guilty uh, to terrorism charges with federal government um, in Samaram and a treasonable felony according to waiting and talk. Every security presence as usual. And here we did see for here uh, since the case, since the matter don't start for July 26th, it's supposed to be the first day of the trial. But then, uh, Canon uh, Namdi Canon no show for court. They call adjourn the case to October 20 when Justice Binta Yako say she don't preside on case where uh, they answer questions or answer the matter no day for court. All right, make uh, we just try to see some of the people we don't give for front of the court today. Uh, which the program can be. Uh, some people don't they gather for here. Time from now, uh, the trial of Nambu Kano will start for this court. We will see some of the people. We're going to show face for here this morning. Why don't they hear? We then be we will follow some of the talk. Now BBC News Pigeon, we did live for Abuja where Nam the Kano trial they happen. Traditional rulers. What do they? I believe you. Traditional rulers from uh, the southeast. Good morning, sir. Hey. Okay. Uh, so you can introduce yourself and tell us um, what you did for this course this morning, sir. We're gonna wake up and you. All right, talk, but now this now some leaders from the southeast, traditional leaders from the southeast. Yeah. 
Alright, so I'm security of this thing. You see, I'm busy stay for around the court. Traditional leaders from South East show All right, sir. For some of us, we no understand the uh, Igbo. If you speak English or Pidgin, if you speak English or Pidgin, uh, for some of the audience, we no understand uh, Igbo. Yeah. Tell us your name. Um, no, you... no, oh, okay, please, please, okay. Please. Then you feel tell us you just about what you Please, 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 please. Move back and get everybody. I am not in the I am not in the We are here. As we are fathers from communities, legal speaking areas in Nigeria, we are here. Because a father does not abandon his son or daughter. So we are here for Imam Bekami. He's our son. And we cannot abandon him as royal father. That's our duty in Igbo tradition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. If you want an interview, come to my palace. Everybody. All right, um, so we are going to the top, we see the day here. That's now part of their, their tradition uh, to come here to support um, their son. To support their son uh, will be Namdekami, then be royal fathers uh, from the southeast of Niger uh, Nigeria. Say so that's now their duty to come here to support him today. We uh, in trial, they continue for this court. Uh, from what we talk, um, Nigeria government and Kano uh, on several count charges were based on terrorism and a treasonable felony. We will be here uh, to see how the trial they go. BBC News Pigeon um, will be here. If you missed any of this, if you enter our website and to read more about how this trial don't go so far, how the arrest they happen, how the trial don't go so far since July 27, uh, we enter October 20 last month. And before they even adjourn and come today, and uh, will be November 10. Uh, Justice Binta Iyako, where they sit down, top the matter, adjourn the case to today, and then we will see how uh, the whole process um, will turn out. Uh, before I let Una go, uh, so that we will still resume later to give Una more updates, uh, make her just then um, give Una in on waiting these um, seven count charges uh, day about. But we still stay here as people they come. Uh, if you see supporters and um, if you see people from the other side of the government, uh, we will follow talk and um, give us uh, ends on waiting they with the expect to happen for the Federal High Court today. Uh, we will still be giving us that update. So make you set your notifications, so, uh, make Facebook alert you anytime BBC News Pigeon go live today for this court so that you will feel the catch the update as you go. And when he enter court, when the judge judgment starts, uh, trial, so to say, when he starts, so that you feel the the go feel the update you as you go. Uh, make her just run on her through the seven count charges. We uh, the county lawyer, the defend and say you know they're guilty of. Uh, but then the trial they continue today. Um, Nigeria government they say um, can allegedly using radio broadcast for London, uh, where in boost to say in to separate the south, east, south, south, and so part of um, um, Kogi Benue state from Nigeria to form Biafra land. 
that's not part of the offense uh, we federal government say in commit they also say Kanu allegedly declare himself um, as a member of uh, indigenous people of Biafra that's not a group we Nigerian government is already banned uh, say uh, they no get rights um, to that group for Nigeria. They also say he allegedly uh, committed terrorism when he used the radio broker from London to, you know, encourage uh, members of the band IPOP um, to attack Nigeria security security operatives and members of their family. Uh, which we see now, say people soon they gather from here. as things they go for the federal high court at Ninja where none they can try the resume today. Canon lawyers on top of the seven count charges with a Samaram they don't say the um, that they challenge the charges with and they expected to um, do for court and uh, one of the lawyers a uh, fine age of four say uh, say the seven count of fence with government Samaram the canon say it is baseless According to the rule of law, that's now waiting in John Hagu so far. All right, so stay tuned to BBC News Pigeon. Set your notification because as soon as things they happen for here, uh, where people they gather for here, uh, we go the update you now. Make we see some of the people they don't come. So fast, every security day on ground front of the court. So just set your notification. You? Set your notification. Uh, we will be updating them as the trial they go. And if you miss anything, enter BBC Cooking and uh, com for the website to read more about waiting don't happen since this trial starts. July 6. So, my wonderful people, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do well to support Biafra Referendum because in Biafra, you and I will celebrate together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and turn on the notification bell in order to get notified whenever I drop a new one. Catch you in my next one, my wonderful people. Bye bye.